Alright, YouTube, it's been a while, hasn't it? And I apologise for this accent that's come on. Basically I've been watching this new YouTuber, and his name's Miles, and um, he's really wonderful. If you don't know him, I'm sure I'll link down there because you need to subscribe to this guy because like, he only has like 19,000 subscribers and he deserves like a million. And I'm, I genuinely love him as nearly as much as I love Chris. So, that's a lot of love right there. He is may or may not be from somewhere similar to where I'm from. And it's I've been watching his videos all day and it's kind of just come on like this. And I don't know how to turn it off. Everyone's always like, Chloe, do your English accent. Obviously they don't sound like that because they... Why would they have an English accent and ask me to do an English accent? I don't know, but... Whatever, you get what I'm saying is that... I'm not trying to speak like this. It just is something that's happening. But anyway, I wanted to tell stories today. In the city where I live, we have the downtown mall. That's what we call it. Downtown mall. Downtown mall. And it's... It's not, it's not specifically a mall, mall, whatever you want to call it. It's just... A stretch, it's just this long street, stretch of street that's, that's cobblestone, not cobblestone, what am I thinking? It's it's like brick, it's brick, that's what I'm saying. And there's just shops, there's shops and there's a, there's an ice skating rink, there's like two, three theatres down there, and a lot of restaurants, and it's typically a place where teens will go out to, to just hang out, you know, have fun. I've got some very good stories from there and I just this just got brought on because a lot of people have been falling in love with my friend Kirby. I told a lot of stories yesterday on my, t on my Tumblr and my Twitter, mostly my Tumblr and his antics. He's certainly a personality. It's funny, he's probably going to be watching this. Um, certainly a personality, don't forget Kirby. I think it's important to remember those fun times with friends that you nearly got arrested. So yesterday we were down, we were down at downtown mall, right? To start off, uh, we we went into went into Sweet Frog, which is like a, a frozen yogurt place. We're sitting there and we're just the wa the waitress person who works in the back. She she wasn't she wasn't paying attention. She went back round back, you know, like they do, because you don't want to be waiting and pay attention to f seven teenagers ruining places but we we're just we we're talking about toppings right they had salmon eggs they had salmon eggs as a topping i was very tempted to have that and kirby all of a sudden he gets up and he walks over to topping place and he's looking at some stuff and then suddenly he just grabs the whipped cream can goes like this <sighs> don't make any sexual jokes about that sprays like a ton of it in his mouth and we're, we're all sitting there like in shock that he just did this because he, he stole that, he stole that whipped cream, that's not coming back, that's not coming back, he's not gonna here, here take your whipped cream back, no he's not gonna do that, is he? He ran out of the store, <laughs> we followed, we walked further down, we went into a bookstore because that's nice, nice little bookstore, nice little quiet place, smells all rustic and mmm, books. I stayed away from my friends a lot of the time while I was in that bookstore because I was actually looking at some books whereas they were making a ruckus, they were making a right ruckus about all of it. It's, it's a bookstore. It's a bookstore, you're supposed to be quiet. I just remember, remember hearing vaguely just things like, Chloe, do you want to see my prostitutes? And it's like, Kirby, this is the bookstore. Yeah, I know. Um. Or they're like, here, here, Chloe, look at this great book that I just found about World War II. It's called Colossal Cracks and it's got pictures of men showing their bum on the front. <sighs> you know, you can find anything in a bookstore. And then Kirby broke out his ukulele. Because that's Kirby. Ukulele boy. Ukulele boy. I don't even know what was happening. I just remember hearing Kirby in the middle go, I am a homosexual. That is not what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say, 
Because so I remember seeing, hearing Kirby in the store saying, I am a heterosexual male. What am I doing? <laughs> right, good video vlogger I am. Let me tell my stories. There's always got to be some homosexual in there. And then later on, we went to another store, we went to Urban Outfitters, which is nice. I have decided I really like Urban Outfitters. The whole top level of this store was dressing rooms, basically. And they had a little waiting area out there. And so, me and the other two girls that were there, my two friends, Sam and Casey, we were... We... We were freaking out, we were getting all these dresses off the thing, we were like, girls, oh yeah! Throwing old clothes everywhere. Oh, shopping! Because that's what girls do. And we went to go and try on these clothes, right? We were trying on these dresses, right? And the boys were sitting in the waiting room area. And I just remember, just, just vaguely, you know, I hear Kirby break out his ukulele and that always means something's about to go down. I'm just standing there, I'm, I'm trying on this black dress. I'm like, oh, I look from, like I'm from 1940s flapper, you know? Oh, I'm so 1940s, let me take a picture on my iPhone 5. You know, that kind of deal. I just remember hearing him start playing and just improvising. And, um, what he ended up doing was making fun of all, of, uh, all people, what people were trying on. <laughs> in, the, in the other dressing room, you know, they'd, they'd come out and they'd be like, Oh, look at, look at this nice dress that I've just tried on. Ooh, oh, and then Kirby, you know, he'd be there commenting with his uke. We called one girl a banana, so... I remember one of the first times I used to go down there. I went down with all my, all my girlfriends. I'm never saying that again, Jesus Christ. There's this one place where it's like a pizza place on top, and then like a nice little restaurant on the underground level. And there's, there's a, some windy stairs, but there's also an elevator. You know, mostly for people who need the elevator. But we were like, hey guys, let's go. Because it was one of the, it's one of those elevators where it's, it's a glass on the outside so you can look down and be like, oh, so we're like, oh, let's go in the elevator because that's going to be a good idea. Yeah, my friend Brienne, she hit the wrong button. She hit the panic button. The, the alarm starts going off in this elevator. We get up and we're like, what have you done? What have you done? And this guy comes in from the outside area. He literally, I'm not joking, he literally pounced. We're like, shh, whoa, okay, okay. He's like, is everybody all right? Is everybody all right? He's like, you shouldn't have done that, you shouldn't have done that. He's freaking out and I'm just like, you all right? You all right, mate? Because you seem to be a bit stressed. At least I wish that's what I'd said. No, we were like, okay, we'll leave. What? Good. I'm glad you can hear me. Don't worry, you're my role model, Dad. I've got a nice book. Yesterday I spent $13 on it. It's called Dancing with Jesus. Very good. Quite a good, quite a good read, I think. It teaches you to do some of, you know, Bible's most classic dance moves. Also, you should scribe to Miles. Scribe, you should scribe to Miles. Yeah, write him a letter. You should subscribe. Miles, because he's A plus plus. I'm going the wrong way here. A plus plus person, and he's brought this upon you. He's brought this English accent upon you, so we can thank him for that. You got to subscribe to to Kirby down there because he's cool. He does movie reviews and stuff, and then he's got Tumblr down there too where he typically just posts pictures of himself shirtless playing the ukulele, so... That's something you want to see. And then, with that, I'm going to leave you. Bye.